I'm Greg Davis and this is Taskmaster. Well, here we are. We've made it to the end of the series. It won't be long before one of our task-trodden titans lifts high the stunningly attractive head, the Taskmaster Trophy. Ooh. But who will have amassed the most points? Only time will tell. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please give a very warm welcome to our finalists, Mr Al Murray! <laughs> And right next to me where he belongs is Mr Alex Horn. Do you want mm. to say something, Alex? Really? Yes. Oh. Last one of the series. Well, thank you. Um, thank you for keeping me on um, <laughs> for the whole series. And uh, I suppose would you, I'd like to say, uh, in, invite you, really, to uh, join me and my family for a meal, maybe at my, at my house. No, right. thanks. No? OK. <laughs> would I be able to um, see my family? No, they're no? fine. OK. <laughs> 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 right, prize task then. Uh, are we going out on a high? I hope so. We've asked them to bring in a, a photo of their most handsome relative. OK? Mm -hmm. So whoever has the most handsome relative, in your opinion, will win the first major points of the show, and whoever wins the whole episode will win five photos of these guys' family. As if they needed any more motivation. <laughs> I mean, that is the <laughs> prize <laughs> yet. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, whose photo have you brought in and why is it the best? I brought in a picture of my dad's son. <laughs> <laughs> my dad's son. <laughs> Sister's brother as well. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's you, isn't it, Paul? Well, it's not me, technically. Well, you've moved on a bit. Yeah, so he could still be living in a parallel universe. That was when I had hopes and dreams. <laughs> you happy that's a relative? I'm, I'm not, no, it's not a relative, is it? It's him. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah, what relative did you bring in? I brought in one of my sisters, or she's a half-sister. Um, <laughs> <when, laughs> um, um, my mum got pebbles six months ago because she was lonely. And um, I think she's very beautiful. Yeah. Do you like cats? Do you know, it's well documented that I really don't like cats. Uh -oh. <laughs> And, and clearly, you're not related to a cat, I hope. No, I'd not, not a biological relation, but adopted siblings are still your siblings. Hmm. <laughs> yes. Are they, though? Yeah. <laughs> Can you still appreciate the aesthetic of a beautiful I, cat? I yeah. could technically do that. Yeah. But I'm going to put myself out I, And I hope it doesn't come across as offensive, but looking at Pebbles... Pebbles looks like a bit of a <laughs> to me. <laughs> Ow. Um, I brought in a picture of my grandfather, Sir Rafe Murray, when he was working at the Foreign Office. <whistles> and he, he gives off this old world distinguished I know that vibe. Guy. You don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> you I stay know. out of this, mate. Has he let our family into the country? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, it could have been worse. Everyone makes mistakes. You remember that? <laughs> <laughs> Until you keep rally all of a sudden. <laughs> I, I think he's a relatively handsome chap, and I'm sure he was delightful. Thank you. Rob, what a picture of a handsome relative did you bring in? Um, well, I couldn't really bring any of my relatives' photos in because most of them are mug shots. Um, <laughs> so what I've brought in is someone who I think is my relative. <laughs> I was um, a bit fatter at school. People said, you look like... James Earl Jones, and I said to my mum, Mum, people say they like James Earl Jones, and she went, Oh, that's your uncle. Well, and she just lied. I didn't know, just, I think she thought it was funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was. Darth well, Vader would have been very different voiced by you, though, Rob. Yeah. <laughs> Luke! <laughs> <laughs> your father! <laughs> You're a member of the Rebel Alliance and a traitor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, which handsome relative have you brought in? Well, I, I think the, the picture just, just speaks for itself. What? So, um, that is Cary Grant. Yeah. Why is his arm coming out of the frame? <laughs> <laughs> Famously one of the most handsome men in Hollywood. Undisputably, yeah. Um, and as and related to you, I imagine, as his... Darth Vader is to Rob. No, no. <laughs> his cousin married my great-grandmother's niece. My... Seriously? Yeah, you yeah, are my... related to yes. here. That is the Gorman family <laughs> too. <laughs> The Fay in the bottom arrow is my mum, so Audrey above that is my grandmother, <laughs> Winifred above that is my great-grandmother, which makes Sally her sister, which makes Winifred the aunt to Phyllis, who's married Joseph Leach, who is the cousin wow. of Cary Grant. And what you can't see just off the top is Adam and Eve. <laughs> <laughs> That's 
really great. Yeah, it is true. We have checked it, it out. It is true. It is oh, true. Wow. It is true. Wow. Yeah. The most handsome relative is clearly uh, Cary Grant. OK. Mr Dave Gorman wins the task. That's, uh, <laughs> uh, the second most handsome is Al's granddad. <laughs> <laughs> The uh, third most handsome, even though he's clearly not related, it's Rob with James Earl Jones. <laughs> and then I'm going to award joint last place to <laughs> the cat and the picture of himself. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> hmm. Let's get the next task underway. Alex, what's the theme? It's a bucket-themed task, and it's really fun. Here we go. Water from bucket A to bucket B. I saw this coming a mile away. You must not move the buckets. Most water moved wins. You have ten minutes. Your time starts. Not quite this. Yet. What have I got? A sieve. Is this bucket A? Yes, it is. Yeah. It's not a trick. Oh! Oh! What's happening? <laughs> Why is there a hole in this bag? It was a trick, wasn't it? <laughs> what? Please. Pardon? What are the peas for? Oh, I thought it might help move the water. No. So we've got to move that water down to that bucket? Yes, please, Paul. Oh, this is horrible. Just moving the bucket of freezing cold water, isn't it? I mean, there's actual bits of ice in here. <laughs> You've had tremendously bad luck with the weather all series, oh, haven't you? That was, that was the first thing we did. It was, like, 9 a.m. and it was minus 3 or something? It was minus 5. Minus 5. <laughs> and, and the weather for everybody else is perfectly lovely. Lovely. <laughs> And a, a wonderful collection of rubbish to help them move the water. Yep, woolly hat, colander, bag of peas and holes, a tray, a string bag, a tape and a coconut. Right. Uh, loads of things that are clearly useless for moving water. These are intelligent people. They won't try and use them, right? Should <laughs> 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 we start with Paul and Rob? Let's. OK. Coconut. What's the coconut for? Whatever you want, Paul. That's not going to work. Is it not? No. Why not? Got holes in, innit? Well, sellotape. <laughs> it's not going to work, is it? What's got that? Yes, please. Thanks, Rob. How much will stay in here? I've never really... You've got five minutes, 20 left. It's not going to work either, is it? Oh, it's so cold. I just don't like going in it. <sighs> oh. <sighs> What's wrong, Will? I was farted because I was cold. You farted because you were cold? Yeah. I just lost all control. Oh, <laughs> me. How's, how's morale, Paul? Who's she? This is as much as I'm going to get in there. Oh, there must be a tiny bucket somewhere I could use. Should have done that at the beginning, innit? I'll have that little cup. How long have we got left? 50 seconds. Two more. Last one. <laughs> That's your time up, Paul. <laughs> Are you saying that when you get cold, you, you fart as standard? <laughs> that week, I'd, I'd, I'd got a two-week-old baby and I've had having no sleep and I just was all over the place and it was so cold. I was <laughs> myself, I was dropping water. <laughs> I didn't know what was going on. She had a little fart. Did a little. I just, I did, and just. Oh, I was so cold. I tense up when I'm cold. Do you tense up? When I you're do. Cold? Oh. Sorry. Yes, I do. Yeah, I always <laughs> tense up. When I'm cold. Yeah. You don't let a little fart out when you tense up, do you? Never farted. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> I actually believe that. 
<laughs> Paul came up with a reasonably good method of... Uh, there was a bag full of holes, but he managed to fold it over so the holes were covered, and he managed to get four centimetres depth of water in his bucket. Oh, quite clever. So he did all right, four He did. I only made two trips back and forth. That was and, Rob, what about old, um, farty ice pop? <laughs> <laughs> made that up. The FIP managed to, uh, <laughs> The least threatening rapper of all time. <laughs> yo, yo, the m in that fight, baby. <laughs> 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 Well, eventually he realised he didn't have to use the stuff there. He didn't you could use anything. There was a lot of litter lying around, so he found a little cut. He did five trips and got 6.6 .6 centimetres of depth. So he's a current, current leader. Ah, all right. right. He's, got, he's got an unfair advantage, though. It's Rob Bucket. <laughs> <laughs> It's time for a break, I think. <laughs> Come back in a moment and find out how Al, Dave and Sarah tackled our bucket challenge. <laughs> Welcome back to the final Taskmaster of the series. And tonight, to make it extra special, someone will go home with a picture of Paul Chowdhury. Alex, I want to say bucket. Of course you do. Greg, that's your prerogative. And, uh... <laughs> The current task involves shifting water from one bucket to another on an athletics track without moving the bucket itself. So far, Rob has complained about the cold. Next up, we've got Dave and Sarah. Ready? All right, what the hell have we got here? Sellotape, this hat. I was going to wear the hat. A coconut. Seriously? <laughs> Ten minutes, you say? Well, nine and a half now. It's just a delicious snack, one, I'm thinking. <laughs> How's the water moving going? There's no water being moved as yet. Just an experiment at the moment. <laughs> yeah, not great. I've seen this happen when people steal petrol from cars. <laughs> OK, well, that tastes disgusting. <laughs> that doesn't work. <laughs> I mean, I've got an English degree. <laughs> oh, there's so much stuff that's useless here. I'm not taking loads of journeys with a tiny coconut. Just going to move a little bit. Bring that bucket out that end for me. Because it only said I couldn't move it. it. Didn't say that no one could move it. Thank you, Dave. You're welcome. You've got 20 seconds, Come on. Sarah. 20 seconds? Yeah. Oh. I mean, I will say, I'm not going to let anyone touch that bucket. If someone else has moved the bucket, I'm going to be furious. I thoroughly enjoyed Dave being very measured about him. What can I use? That doesn't work. No, that doesn't work. Ah, the hose. Yeah, that seems like a logical way of containing water. Good. It's full. I'm taking the colander too! <laughs> you all walked out of a pavilion, which only took you about three minutes to walk from it, full of buckets. You could have run back there. It's going to waste time looking around a pavilion for a bucket when you've, uh, <laughs> you've got a coconut to be having in there. <laughs> <laughs> what they cut out is how often I told Alex I hated him. Yeah, he told me. In between, fairly hysterical crying. <laughs> Some scores, please. Sarah, the best at opening a coconut, then did eight little trips with a coconut in the end. 0.8 centimetres of water. <laughs> a little bit of water. <laughs> I'm so ashamed! Dave did the most trips and achieved, uh, so far, the highest score of 7.8 centimetres. Wow. Yeah. Can we now have um, Al's VT, please? Of course we can. Here we go. I'm not allowed to move the bucket, but you are. No, I'm not, unfortunately, because I don't want to. You don't want to? No, it's too cold. Hang on. <laughs> oh, here we go. Bags oh, I got 115 pounds on me. That'll warm you up. Come on. <laughs> don't run me, I don't want to spill it. <laughs> well, no, do run me, you're running out of time. Oh, my God! Mm. Two and a half minutes. Mm. Can I have 10 pounds now, please? Yes! 
Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Thanks, Al. You like the money, don't you? <laughs> you like some money. Yes. I'd not, I'm not going to go... I'd Put it next to the other bucket. I'm not going to go any further, Al. OK. For 20 pounds, can you lift the other bucket up? Can I have the money? Oh, yeah. Hold the bucket. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Look at that. That's fantastic. Look at that. Money bags, oh, Murray. Oh, oh, this I mean, whole series has been like watching how Donald Trump would do things. <laughs> I mean, you have been throwing money around. How much is it And it's gross the way he like gives it away to you, like you're a little mouse. It works. It also, <laughs> as, 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 as disgusted as I was by watching um, Al's display of wealth, I am far more disgusted with someone else in this room. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote down a quote. Um, from an earlier VT, and it is as follows. Sarah, just so you know, I will not be moving that bucket for anyone. <laughs> it's almost like you just know I'm poor. How much did Al Murray give 80 you pounds. to break your own rule? 80, 80 pounds. But I'm sort of work experience, so... What have you done with what? that 80 pounds? I bought some rounds in the bar and pretended it was my money. Right. <laughs> well, it's unacceptable. Why don't you give us 20 quid each? I think if the money's going to go anywhere, it should go to charity, don't you, Rob? No. <laughs> so this is the way I see it. 60 of the 80 pounds will go to charity, 20 pounds will go to Rob Beckett, Thank because you. he's obviously got... <laughs> he's obviously got problems. <laughs> <laughs> what charity would you like to give the 60 pounds to? Ch uh, children's? Ch or dolphins? Dolphins. dolphins. <laughs> Good luck, dolphins. <laughs> 60 pounds coming your way. <laughs> I'll pass judgment on the points in a minute, but first, there must be an extra penalty for you. Take one of your shoes and socks off. <laughs> <laughs> one of my... Really? Yeah. For the rest of the... The episode. right foot. The right foot. That's the punishment? Yeah. OK. If you don't like it. <laughs> Good. This is the way I see it. Al Murray wasn't to know that his ingenious method was uh, contradictory, so I'm not going to penalise him. Thank you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to award Sarah Pascoe an extra point. Fair enough? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Do you want to see the buckets? Do you want to see what, looks, what yes. the buckets look like? Yeah, let's have a look at... The amount of water in the buckets. It's quite nice to see them, quite a soothing image. We've got um, Al Murray's there. Over 11 centimetres, says Paul with the peas. Rob Beckett's there. 6.6 .6 centimetres. Sarah Pascoe's just 0 0.8. And then finally, we've got Dave Gorman's. <laughs> I, I was swallowing it and I was bringing up bile from within me because it was such a poisonous. Was he drinking tea? Liquid. Are you saying that that's come out of your mouth? What is that, why is that colour? You know, like, I, like, you saw I was siphoning, I was running hard, I'm not in good shape, and it was making me feel quite <laughs> nauseous. <laughs> you look nervous, Dave. You're not in trouble, you is know that. No, no, you <laughs> cheated again! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Dave, I'm going to ask you a question. <laughs> Have you, again, cheated? <laughs> I can honestly say no to that because I didn't cheat before. <laughs> have you cheated? Might have done. <laughs> yeah, well, we did uh, film it. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks, Dave. If you want to yeah. go and get, get warm. You've seen what I'm capable of. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't know till we looked at the bucket and then we examined that little camera. Really? Yeah. yeah. How, how much do you want me to give to the dolphins? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Dave, you're disqualified from that round. <gasps> oh. Rules is rules. Nil point. OK, how are the scores looking, Alex? Well, because uh, Dave dropped out there, we have a clear winner. Uh, in second place, it's Robert. In first place, Al Murray so far with nine points. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> the, ser oh, the overall series uh, lead is incredibly close at the moment. I don't want to say what the scores are, but there are three people just a couple of points separating them. Ooh. Yeah. I wonder who they are, Paul. I'll <laughs> 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 the next one. <laughs> OK, the next one is a team task. Ready? Here we go. I'm not getting in that.
wearing one of these hands on each of your hands at all times. Communicate to your teammates the names of these films, books or TV programmes. <laughs> you may not raise your voice. Most correct answers wins. You have 10 minutes. Your time starts when the whistle's blown. Charades. Where are my teammates? Teammate. Is that Sarah? I have no idea who they are. Is there someone with blue hands? It's Rob! Can he see me? Hey! Hello! Hello! Who's that? Who is it? I don't know. Who are you? I'm all right! How are you? <laughs> What's your name? What's my name? Why doesn't he know my name? She's gone quiet, hasn't she? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, who did you think it was? Did what? you think it was Al Murray? <laughs> <laughs> I know, I couldn't, it was quite far. It was 500 really? foot across. <laughs> OK, let's all have a break for a moment. All five will be playing charades across a river <laughs> right after these adverts. See you shortly. <laughs> We're nearing the series climax, but first, Alex, can we please finish off what we started? Of course we can. Uh, we're playing charade, so uh, the person guessing could shout, the person doing the demonstrating couldn't yeah. shout. That's the rules. I heard some people got very cross. I got... I was furious. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look at Rob and Sarah's VT. <laughs> <laughs> OK. That's a... Book! OK. It's a film as well, isn't it? Oh, it's just ridiculous. How am I going to do a line? Wow. How to do a line? <laughs> Terrible. I mean, I don't know if he's just living his life or if he's trying to gesture to me. Mad Max! What? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, his hands aren't even moving very much. Unless the book is called The Boring Shrug, I don't know what this is. Book! Yeah. Plane. How am I supposed to do this on a plane? <laughs> I can't hear what she's saying. You can't make it big. Football, it's football in it. <laughs> Up in the air. Gone with the wind. War and peace. Sense and sensibility. <laughs> the beach. I can't. I can't hear you, mate. I can't. I can't hear you, mate. I'm just guessing, mate. What she said? You're gonna have to be louder. 1984. <laughs> well, she's just guessing books, but. And Well, I'll go through them. I'll see if I've got that one. Oh, shout 1984 again. 1984! Yeah, got one. Film. One's doing a film. Film! Yes. Right. <laughs> Hello! Hello! <laughs> Stop looking! What's she doing? Hey, Nelly. <laughs> oh, no, don't apologise. All right, eyes on the prize. You're a joke. I think he's saying it's a joke. It's just, just, I mean, you can't tell if he's exasperated or miming. Right, I tell you the song, innit? Song! Yeah, right now. Oh, what's the single lady song? Oh, 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 Walking oh, on sunshine! Oh, 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 oh. What's that song they did? And then wave hello. Is it Beyonce? Is it All My Single Ladies? All My Single Ladies! No! Yeah! Oh, thank you. Oh, I mean, Sarah definitely had a lovely time. Pay I met dogs, a little dog called Nelly. Chatting, I saw. <laughs> You were having a lovely old time. It was tough. It was really yeah. tough for us. Yeah. And you got your knickers in the right twist. Yeah. <laughs> I could, well, because I couldn't hear what you were saying, so it's hard to play charades when you can't hear the guesses. Mm. But That's... didn't you call me stupid and they've cut that out? Oh, I think I was worse than that. Yeah, well, was... <laughs> I mean, we've learned something, though. If anyone's got anger management problems or you're going into any threatening situation, just ask the person to... Pop some of those big gloves on. <laughs> it's like, it's all been, it felt good being so angry, looking so ridiculous. Yeah. Which is like, <laughs> <"F> <laughs> 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 
So, I mean, what did they get in there? I mean, incredibly, there? Sarah guessed, without him doing them, War and Peace, The Bible, 1984, <laughs> and a passerby suggested Batman, which was on the card. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, seven out of 20 she got. Wow. Bad. It's not bad at all. Not bad. <laughs> and we're now going to uh, some wise old men and Paul Chowdhury, who is uh, <laughs> a, young, a young man. OK, here we go. Do we stand on this? Oh. It's a book. The. The we got, yeah. Jurassic Park. No, it's not the Jurassic Park, is it? No. <laughs> Start again! <laughs> What's he doing now? Book. I'm doing a thing where I'm, I'm not allowed to raise my voice. Oh, yes. yeah, but yeah. you're not me. Yeah, yeah. If you were to shout across that river yeah. Yeah. the words, the lion, the witch, and the wardrobe, <laughs> yeah. that'd be very helpful. Okay. Yeah. The lion, the witch, and the wardrobe! Lion, the witch, and the wardrobe. <laughs> Mad Max. Max. Winnie the Pooh! Winnie the, Winnie the Pooh. Pooh. Taskmaster! Taskmaster. Taskmaster. Good show. Yeah, no one's heard of that. No. <laughs> Dave Gorman! Modern life is Guinness! Dave, Dave Gorman's. Sorry, say again! Try <laughs> <laughs> me a river! The Bible! Die hard! They're out. They've run oh, out. We're done. OK. So you use five minutes. How handy that Ben Fogel... <laughs> and that was actually Ben Fogel. Yeah. Right? Ben Fogel. Yeah. Al Murray paid five grand for him to turn up. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was doing a photo shoot on the foreshore of the river, just by coincidence. So what happens when your granddad's a foreign secretary? You can get anyone to... <laughs> And it, is a, it is a lot easier. In charades, it is easier when you can say the name. They yeah. still didn't get one. They didn't. They genuinely didn't get Dave Gorman. No, I one no, life no. is rubbish. Yeah. They got all but that, but it's a long what, time. What did you just call it? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's gonna... yeah. Sorry, Dave Gordon. So even when you're reading it, you can't get it <laughs> <Yeah>. right. <laughs> uh, but they did get 19 out of 20. Good. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's, it's Why are you sit... shaking hands like that was good gamemanship? <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't have done the same in that situation? No, I like to play for fun. So, they, did they just win that one, then? It didn't say that you couldn't get Ben Fogel to shout <laughs> <laughs> um, How's that affected the points? I mean, unsurprisingly, Al, Dave and Paul are now ahead of Rob and Sarah. The scoreboard looks like this. Uh, Bam! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. OK, Alex, I'd like one more task to really complete the series. Me too, and here it is. It's cool, that, isn't it? Right. <laughs> uh, do something that looks brilliant when sped up or slowed down. You have one hour. Your time starts now. Near a golf course, could do a uh, drive. Looks quite good to slow down, doesn't it? Have a little think about it, I reckon. I've, yeah, I've got an idea, actually. Quite a good idea, I think. Mm. Who you seen first? We're going to start with Dave Gorman. Guinness advert. <laughs> it is available yeah, for Guinness if they are prepared to pay the price. <laughs> Were those biscuit crumbs? That was glitter. Oh, sorry. I just think how much I like. <laughs> <laughs> well, so pretty rock and roll video, really. Two famously rock and roll things there: glitter and balloons. <laughs> Great though. See some others. Okay, the bar is set. Uh, we're going to see Sarah's slow mo or fast forward. We'll see. <laughs>
Rob just asked me if there was someone in there. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know if they did it like Wallace and Gromit. Yeah? Just moving a little bit at a time. It would have taken Sarah one month to make that. <laughs> 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 really, really impressive. Technology's always, in films, it's depicted as something destructive or frightening. Why not have a nice dancing robot? Yeah. Well, it was a story of loneliness and then companionship and then boogieing. <laughs> OK, it's time for Al Murray. I mean, <laughs> this is all the funny when you know that Al is the only person well I've ever met who knows someone who owns a gong shop. <laughs> and this is the second time the gong has appeared in Dustmaster. <laughs> She's gone mad. Yeah. She's gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I got it. <laughs> Did you like it? The I thought it was wonderful. <laughs> um, so presumably your facial expression was based on the wig coming off. Yes. Right. <laughs> what was the facial expression going to be before it turned into? <laughs> oh, something, you know, smouldering. Oh, don't. That's good. <laughs> Who's next? OK, how about... Oh, Paul. Do you want to see Paul Chowdhury? Do I? Really clever. I'm the best at keeping up, isn't it? I can keep it up for a long time. <laughs> you did boast a lot about your football skills before. It was the ninth take, but it, you know. It... <laughs> the point is, you did a genuinely good film, and I honestly thought uh, it was going to be horse. <laughs> so well done. <laughs> I'm afraid we have to stop now for a break. When we return, it's going to really kick off. There's Rob's movie, the final task of the series, but most importantly, we reveal the overall champion of Taskmaster. It's going to be powerful. See you there. <laughs> Join us for the final part of Taskmaster. Before long, one of our five comedians will be awarded this hallowed trophy and make their families proud at last. One of them will also go home with a picture of a cat. Exciting times ahead. Alex, let's get back to the action. OK, then. We have seen four films with the footage either slowed down or sped up, and I like them all equally, which is why I'm sat here. The only one <laughs> we haven't seen here is Rob Beckett. Oh! Intrigued by the narrative of yours as to who the supervillain is that's coming after you because he is using three very distinct uh, weapons. Yes. <laughs> Please, watermelon, flour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the story of that was belt some s and fruit and veg. Oh, <laughs> you didn't have in your mind that you're a character and there was an enemy approaching. Yeah, that as well. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm going to make some snap decisions on this. It's so tough. I thought they were all genuinely brilliant. It is harder when they do well, isn't it? OK. Oh, God. Last place? I'm, it's going to be Al. Do you know why? Because he's used his gong already and he didn't mean his wig to fall off. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm putting in joint next place, I'm putting Dave and Paul. And the joint winners for me, because I could imagine a narrative, are Sarah and Rob. Okay. Bam. I've done it. Can you please update us on the scores and tell us how the race for the trophy is doing? The race for the trophy is doing really well. It's so tight. I'm not going to say who's in the lead. I know. It's brilliant. Uh, <laughs> but this particular episode, there's uh, Dave is on 13 points, but in the lead is Al Murray with 16 points. Yes! <laughs> 
just one more batch of points to dish out. And don't forget, this not only counts for this show, but also for the overall scores across the series. So, for one last time, will you please head to the stage for the final task? <laughs> Alex, what's in the box? Well, Deal or no deal's gone down market, hasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, the final task, and I should say that Al, Dave and Rob, close to being neck and neck, OK? And what about me and Paul? Close to being neck and neck as well, but a different part of the body. <laughs> so, <laughs> knee and knee. Right, so in the box, you've all got five donuts on a stick, OK? <laughs> mm. Who do you want to read the task? Oh, Al, please. <laughs> Place one or more donuts on your stick. You have a hundred seconds after which the person with the lowest unique whole number of donuts on their stick wins. What? In, there's more. In the event of there being no unique numbers, the task shall be replayed until there is a winner. Do you want me to explain? Yeah. So you're all going to put donuts on your stick. There are five at the moment. Oh, so we, yeah. You can yeah. take them off or putting them on. At the end of the hundred seconds, you're going to lift up your box. We'll see how many donuts you put on your stick. Whoever's got the lowest unique number of donuts wins. For example, if you three put two, Rob puts one, you put three, Rob's one. It's the lowest unique number. I need to make sure you definitely all understand, though. Paul. I feel like a bit of a donut up here. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready? Good luck, everyone. Put your donuts on the stick. Off you go. You watching them? Yeah, I'm watching them. <laughs> how are you going on, Dave? I'm not telling you. Paul, how many donuts are on your stick? Huh? How many donuts are on your stick? I thought I'm not allowed to tell anyone. You can tell anyone anything. You, you, you could be lying. I've still got four on the stick. No, you haven't. <laughs> Sarah, how many donuts have you put on your stick? It's none of your business. Oh. <laughs> you have to tell the truth. But I can't think of what to lie. Eleven. I've got eleven donuts on a stick. <laughs> Are you finished, Rob? Yeah, I don't... I can't work out how to do it. <laughs> what you don't realise is Al's paid a man to be strapped up in the lighting. <laughs> <laughs> There's only ten seconds left. You've got five more seconds to make your decision. If you could all replace the lids in three seconds. And step away from your boxes, please. So Al Murray has gone for one donut. Ooh. That's a big call. Ooh. Dave Gorman, one donut. <laughs> the two old men cancel each other out at this stage. It's exciting. I wouldn't be so stupid. Paul Chowdhury has put one donut. <laughs> Rob Beckett has put two donuts. Yeah! Sarah Pasco <laughs> has put two donuts. We go again. 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 Put your sticks back. This time you have twenty seconds. This time your twenty seconds start. Okay. Sticking with one? None of your business. That's all it is. <laughs> Not yet, it isn't. No. Right, right. I, what, are you, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? Hiding the donuts. Okay, five seconds left. <laughs> oh, game from shit from Al. Okay, two seconds left. And shut your boxes, please. Okay. I don't um, know about you, I'm genuinely excited. <laughs> <laughs> Al Murray this time has gone for one donut. <laughs> I think you yeah, win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Paul Chowdhury. Can I predict? Yes. Paul's yeah. five donuts. Nearly. Four <laughs> donuts. <laughs> five donuts. You win. Five donuts. I should have been able to count. Paul will only win if there are all ones, or if these two are both twos or threes or fours. Yeah. We have two donuts. Ooh. We're going to have a winner. We, we're going to have a winner. We're going to have time. a winner. It's, it's exciting, special. isn't it? It's either Paul or Rob. Sarah can't win. I think so, right? I'm still yeah. having fun. Yeah. Okay. It's either one or a two. But if she's put three donuts... So it will not be the lowest unique number. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I now fully understand the game. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, here we go. So if it's a two, Paul wins. If it's a one, Rob wins. Sarah's put... 
three donuts. It's a shame. Give them to the audience. I can still give them to the audience. No, you didn't. <laughs> a donut. Okay, well done to Rob. Can you please come down to find out tonight's winner? Well, well. <laughs> donuts, Alex. What happened? Very interesting tactics. I mean, for me, it was Alan, Dave, not budging from one. Both of them, the same mind. That's because I knew he was doing one, two. Oh, you had to block him. Yeah, yeah. I knew he was doing one as well. <laughs> <laughs> Did you not think that one, someone else might do one and you could do two? Well, no, I did. The first time, I knew that he'd done one, I didn't know what he'd done, so I had to block him. And the second time, I knew he'd done one, I didn't know what he'd done, so I had to block him. What was your tactic, Rob? I just took three off and just put the box shut. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes, that's all it takes for mm, victory. Yeah. <laughs> OK, Alex, can you please tell us the scores for today's show? I can, and that, that win has pushed him up a lot of places. Al Murray has 16 points, but in the lead, and the winner, in fact, is Mr Rob Becker with oh. 17 points! <laughs> Rob Beckett wins. Five whole photographs are all yours. <laughs> Rob, you are the luckiest man in Britain. Please go up there and collect your prizes. <laughs> well, that is another series complete. It is. Does it make you feel complete, Greg? It sort of does. Does it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but before we find out our overall series winner, what have we learnt today? Well, we've learnt if you want to hear Rob Beckett fart, Put him in a fridge. <laughs> Today we learned that the winner of this episode is Rob Beckett! <laughs> OK, the time has come. At last, after five episodes, countless tasks and some bizarre and brilliant tactics, we're about to reveal the overall winner and present them with this. <gasps> the Taskmaster Trophy. Alex has added up the points across the series, so I will now hand over to him to tell us the ultimate scores. OK, so... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> tight, it was tight. There was just two points separating three men at the end, uh, which means there were five points available, there's only one winner, and he has won by six points overall. It's Mr Rob Beckett! <laughs> The champion of the third series of Taskmaster is Mr. Rob Beckett. Thank you so much, everyone. Take care and good night. For more Taskmaster, subscribe now! <laughs>